Hi everyone, and welcome to this Katenda webinar, where we will show you the completely new BIMSYNC ArchiCAD plugin. My name is Richard, and I will take you through today's uh, webinar, where we will talk about how you can boost your design collaboration in ArchiCAD using the new BIMSYNC plugin. So, to give you a bit of uh, context around BIMSYNC and what it is, it's an um, open CDE platform for the AAC industry where you can upload your models, you can collaborate on your models and issues using or documents using our issues page based on the BCF format. And then also you can upload all your production documents, drawings to the system. So starting with uh, the models, it is based on open standards. So this is an uh, IFC. And uh, then we can look at the issues page where we can create issues with uh, viewpoints in the model making it easier to collaborate with uh, your team members in the project. And then lastly, for uh, projects, we see that you can upload all uh, the documents here. You can see, look at drawings that has been uploaded to the system and then collaborate on around those using annotations on the documents and connecting that to issues. We've had um, webinars regarding this before, so if you want to have a look at that, you can go to our YouTube channel. So now, for this webinar, we will mainly talk about the new BIMSYNC plugin for ArchiCAD. So let's jump straight into ArchiCAD and look at the project there. So right now, I'm in... Um, this ArchiCAD environment. You see that's the same model as I opened in uh, BIMSYNC. And in the top toolbar, you will find the BIMSYNC plugin when you have downloaded that. So I will uh, sign in to my user. and have a look at the plugin. So the first time logging in, you will have to uh, allow the ArchiCAD plugin to access your user. I will allow that. And then I'm taking to the next page where I can select and go into one of the projects that I'm a part of. So I will go into this one and then you can see, now you can see the different issues that are in the project you can select based on the different uh, issue boards that are in so for this one i will use the archicad webinar issue board uh, so this is uh, the issue board that you can see together with um, the model the features that we have is the um, what is it? There we go. Uh, models and revisions. Here you can see all the models that has been uploaded to the BIMSYNC project and the different revisions of that. And that means you can download them and then either link them into your ArchiCAD, web, uh, Archicad environment or look at them uh, in another software. And then you also are able to upload IFCs directly from ArchiCAD to BIMSYNC. So that means you can skip the um, skip the part where you have to first export the model from ArchiCAD and then import it to BIMSYNC. But with this feature, you can select the model that you want to upload a new version to and upload it straight from ArchiCAD using this feature. So let's have a look at um, an issue. So. These are actually created in Salibri. And 
because we have a connection uh, with uh, Celebri, a live connection with Celebri, these are updated and then viewable in the Archicad plugin because the BIM sync is used as um, BCF server, basically. So all the updates that happens in Solibri will be live synchronized with uh, Archicad, with uh, BIM sync as the middle, middleman in that process. So let's have a look at one of the issues. We see that it's an intersection between roof and transport element. Uh, we see the screenshot. We can have a look at it. It opens up in uh, the view right now as a picture. But we can also, since this is a BCF, replay the same view in uh, the Archicad environment. So that means it selects the object since it's already connected to, uh, to the issue. And it shows you what elements that are um, uh, where there are a clash. So right now you see that it's um, it's lacking some information basically. So first of all it's not assigned, it's not requested by anyone so I can set me as the requester for this one. So right now I'm the architect. Uh, it might be assigned to me, um, here we go. but I don't know what to do here. There's no description, so I can ask it needs to be done here and submit the comment. So now, if I go back to BIMSync and look at the same issue. I can see that Katana Webinar posted a comment and asked what needs to be done here. So now I can add a, either add a description, I can add a comment here in BIMSync. Let's say I'm the BIM coordinator and uh, um, let's say uh, needs to be an opening in the roof. Submit. And then when I go back to Archicad, just needs to update it quickly. I can see that a new comment has been made. It needs to be an opening in the roof. Now me as a designer can go in, I can do the changes and then upload a new revision to BIMSync. So let's say we find something else in BIMSync. Okay, these windows needs to be aligned with each other. I can then select the windows in BIMSync and press this button, new issue. Add a title, windows need to be aligned. Probably not correctly spelled. There we go. So this is supposed to be on the Archicad webinar issue board. It's open. It's not clash. It's uh, yeah, let's just have it as that for now. I can set a due date. So let's say this needs to be fixed by Wednesday. For labels, this this is for the architect. Uh, I will assign it to uh, Rick. There we go. <clears throat> Under description, top window needs to be aligned with that bottom one. and submit with the viewpoint connected to the issue. So that means we now have that, have that issue. If I go back to the plugin, 
have a look. You can see it here. Okay, I see. Okay, this top window needs to be. I can replay that issue. And now we see the two windows that are connected to the issue and the same viewpoint as in BIMSYC. So that means that now me as a designer, I can go in, I can move the window, align it to the bottom one. And that leads me to the next part of the workflow, which is then uploading a new version of that file. So I'll just first write window moved. See new revision. Submit. I will then go to upload IFC. I will select the correct um, select, uh, select the um, correct model. I will say um, fixes based on issues in the comments that needs to be uh, connected. If I look at settings, I will see which translator I will use for the export. So this is from the IFC translator uh, settings, and then I will select the view. So if you have a standard uh, viewpoint for uh, IFC export, you can select that here. Sorry for it being Norwegian, but uh, you get uh, what I want to do here. And then you upload the IFC. The process will begin. And then you see the fourth re revision is now being uploaded to, um, to BIMSYNC. If I now go back and look at models, you see now there's four revisions in this. I can upload. Uh, the model and now you see the same viewpoint with the updated um, updated windows and the updated model. So let's just have a quick look at how this works with um, Celebri. So either if you're using Celebri as your clash detection tool or you might be using Navisworks, which we also have a plugin for you will always be connected and have the latest information in both BIMSYNC and ArchiCAD since everything is updated live and synchronized live. So if I jump into Slibri, uh, I can select the um, correct project and the correct uh, issue board. And you can look at the same uh, models and same issues in uh, Celebri that has been created. So yeah, as I showed you, this was the first issue we had a look at in uh, Archicad. And you can see the same viewpoints in uh, both places and you can work with them. Every update you do here will then go live and straight into Celebri since we are uh, connected via the uh, plugin. So here you see the newest comment from my user directly into uh, Celebri. I can do changes here. Let's say that this is not an... Um, I can put the architect labor, labor uh, label and uh, the webinar label on this. If I now go back to Archicad, I will just have to update it quickly. You can now see that the architect label and the webinar label has been uh, connected and added to uh, the Archicad environment. So, this was basically what I wanted to show you guys in this uh, webinar. Hopefully this will um, be a help 
for you in your project and the design phases of your uh, projects using this plugin together with Archicad and BibSync. Uh, it is not available as of yet, will it, but it will be very shortly and it will be located on our web, web page under the plugins section. So we will make a noise about it and uh, you will be updated and get the information you need on how to download it and um, connect it to your projects. So if you have any questions, any feedback uh, when you start using it, if you discover something, if it's uh, just anything, you can contact us either on sales or directly to me or using Intercom, the little help button in the bottom of your uh, BibSync page. So thanks a lot for uh, listening to me and uh, I'll see you again.